because they have one industry in Gaza, and that's terrorism. So it's time that Gaza ends. The two million people who live there, they are clever assassins. They need to be removed from that land. That land needs to be turned into a national park. And since they're the voluntary mercenaries for Iran, they need to be dropped on the doorstep of Iran and let Iran deal with those people. And one thing I saw is that whether you live in the north or the south of Israel, whether you're religious or secular, everyone agreed and united. We can no longer embrace this being Mr. Nice Guy to the people who are in Gaza. Because this is over a thousand years of mothers teaching their children, grow up and kill Jews. I don't care about Gaza. I literally don't care. For all I care, they can go out and to swim in the sea. I want to see dead bodies of terrorists around. We must obliterate Hamas, you see. And what Israel has to do, which I'm hoping, of course, they will, is they are going to what's called raise Gaza. They're going to destroy it. What is important to understand what the logic of the war is based on the divine plan. There is no permission from the Torah to have any mercy whatsoever during war. Not on children, not on women, not on anybody. But the point is right here that Hashem say, do not have mercy on the children. Kill all their children also. Why? There's no difference between them and their children. In 10 years from now, these children will attack you on the way. Hashem knows, God. The verse in the whole Bible, it says, happy is the one that takes the, the infants of Babel and of Edom and smashes them on the rock, just like they did to us. The last one, and this is what we say before benching, right? That's the end of this. That the ultimate revenge, or revenge again, are going innocent infants. Happy is the one that takes the infants and smashes them and kills them on the rock. And then we, then we bless Hashem for the food that, that we ate. You kill all men and all women, me'olel ve'ad yonek, even babies who breastfeed. Amazing. לדעתי, צה"ל היה יכול לתת מכת פתיחה כואבת יותר עם 100,000 הרוגים בהתחלה. כן, יש אנשי חמאס, יש עוד 20 אלף אנשי חמאס. אתה יודע שה-100,000 האלה זה לא היו 100,000 אנשי חמאס. אני לא יודע מה זה מעורבים ולא מעורבים וחפים מפשע מחפים מפשע. אתה באמת רוצה להרוג 100,000 אנשי חמאס? What you have just seen are Israelis calling for genocide and the ethnic cleansing of Palestine. Journalists, rabbis, politicians, leaders, civilians, all alike. All in this incessant hunger for stealing more land, for forming more settlements. Islam is usually accused of anti-Semitism, demonized and caricatured for the very things you will find in Judaism. In the Torah and the Talmud, Jews are said to be God's chosen people. While all the non-Jews are goys, Gentiles, subhuman, happy is the one who crushes the baby's head on the rock, says the good book. You will see the Israelis using their scriptures to demonize the Palestinians, calling them Amalek, calling them people of darkness. Remember what Amalek has done to you, says our holy Bible, and we do remember and we are fighting. What you have just seen, our IDF, writing names of pro-Palestinian figures on their missiles before firing them on the next child. You will see IDF candidly posting videos and photos jesting at the destruction and the massacre of Gaza. All the while Israel pretends to be the victim of these murdered babies. On social media you will see surfacing videos of Israeli victims of October the 7th who have revealed that the ones to blame for that massacre are the IDF themselves who brought tanks and shot at the kibbutz homes. 
הטנק במקום יורה שני פגזים, אחד לרצפה, השני לגג הבית. פתאום בום נוראי, ואני לא מצליחה להזיז את הרגליים. ואני אני רואה ש... והידיים שלי שמוטות, אני לא מצליחה להזיז את ה... כבר לא מחבקת את ה... דושי, ואני אומרת לו, דושי, אני חושבת שנפגעתי. ובשלב הזה אני אומרת לו עוד פעם שאני אוהבת אותו. היה לי ברור שיש פה טנק. זה היה ברור לי לגמרי. אל תשאלי אותי איך, אני לא יודעת. ואז היה הבום השני. אני מרגישה שנפגעתי, ואני, מסתק... ואני מרגישה שזורם עליי הרבה דם. But there is good news for the people of light. Japan has blockaded the Red Sea, preventing any cargo ship from going through it, causing billions of dollars worth of loss to Israel, as well as your boycott of Starbucks and various Zionist products, has given severe financial loss to Israel. The IDF has been failing on the ground. Their lieutenants and corporal, uh, corporals, seriously, some nobody, 19 or 20 year olds. Probably not even Jews since they have been hiring mercenaries to do that dirty work. about enlisting in the IDF, let me walk you through the steps. First, reach out to one of our Maitav representatives around the world. For North and South Americans, we have a Maitav representative in the New York consulate. For Europeans, we have a Maitav representative in the Paris consulate. After have been decimated by Hamas members. The tragedy is that they have not only failed in their objective, but have massacred 20,000 Palestinians, 7,000 of them children, destroying holy sites, mosques, churches, killing journalists and their families, displacing millions of people of the now flattened okay, Gaza. Yeah. There has also been an increase in aggression of the IDF in the West Bank, where there is no Hamas, no provocation, nothing. Muslims are barred from the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Children are murdered, raped and imprisoned. Despite this sad and tragic news, it has been a catastrophe for Israel militarily and, and in public relations. The world has seen for what they truly are, a murderous, barbaric savage group of people backed by the west the mainstream has failed to push these terrorists on their shows as they have pushed against the pro-palestinian voice idf bombs and they've inscribed on them the names of actually a number of people who've been guests on this show muhammad hijab andrew tate and also one of my next guests jenk wieger um what is your response to that maybe idf soldiers are watching your show is that possible yeah, but do you think it's uh, a, a sensible thing to be doing, to be putting names like this on these bombs? Well, first of all, it's obviously the, this is uh, some soldiers trying to be funny or creative. But what? But it, there's a history here going back to the First World War, isn't there? Not of soldiers drawing pictures on, on, on shells and so forth. It's, it's something that soldiers have done. I'm not justifying it, but I think British soldiers have done it. Sounds like American you are justifying it to me. It. Sorry, no, I'm just putting it into historical context. Okay. Uh, Mark Regev, I appreciate you joining me. Thank you very much.